Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are reviewing the Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG, which is a pretty nice roadster, uh, which basically can beat a lot of supercars while looking like a premium Miata. So let's get straight into the video. So. Uh, first of all, the Mercedes SL is the uh, continuation of the SL series, which started with the F S SL Gullwing, I forgot its name, but was the first supercar ever made, the one that had the Gullwing doors, pretty much a classic SLS AMG. I am sorry for forgetting the name of that historical car, but anyways, so this is the continuation. Uh, the SL line got discontinued for a few years, I think, and then they got back to, well, they started making them again with this. So this is the um, kind of basic uh, SL, this is the 55, although the uh, one did with the most performance is the SL63, but um, yeah, uh, first of all, let's see wait no let's see the sounds here the startup pretty nice at the start it kinda sounds like it has the jeep music uh... here it is did you hear that? let's go into <coughs> that was scary uh... let's go into full uh... full sound and did you hear the little uh or how would you want to call it, it sounded like uh, GB's music, but anyways, so yeah, that's the startup. Idle sound it's pretty nice, sounds like a B8, which it in fact is, as far as I know. Here's the revs. Ha sounds kinda generic, not gonna lie. Yeah. Tops out at 7,000 RPMs, 7,000 ish, uh, 6,000 and uh, well, very close to 7,000. So yeah, here's the blinkers, which they are pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it's got the uh, fade effect and brake lights, um, reverse lights, pretty nice. Uh, it's all, it's got neon lights, so. Yeah, it's it got high beams. Sadly, no fog beam, fog lights because um, yeah. Also, a uh, nice touch is uh, with the convertibles is that they got the blinkers in the interior. So I don't know if you can see it through the wheel, but um, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this what it looks like when you turn turn it on. Well, turn on the. Uh, headlights like it's got this cool animation and somehow it's not uh, working but um, yeah it must be glitched because it's got this nice animation but um yeah now let's see how how detailed is interior so first of all well Starting with the exterior, it looks pretty nice. It's got um, pretty nice fitment, even though it's a stock car. It's got pretty nice fitment. Um, yeah, the grill is 3D. It's a Stuttgart in three letters. Got a 3D-ish badge because, like the halo, it's 3D and the star, it's an image. But yeah. Then here's the um, bumper parking sensor, the lights are 3D as well as you can see uh, it's got this parking sensor right here, pretty nice, pretty nice um, then it's got the ra radar in here which is pretty nice, another uh, good detail with the Mercedes is that, wait, uh, there we go it says k uh as a reference to Cade, uh, the owner of Cadeville, who kinda owns the, the Mercedes brand in Greenville. But yeah, with the little star in there, pretty detailed, pretty detailed, not gonna lie. We've got there the uh, winch, uh, the wipers, pretty nice, this dream piece, 
the rings are pretty nice, not gonna lie. The spoiler uh, goes up when you go uh, 55, 55 miles an hour, so yeah. Exhaust, everything. It's pretty to like, even the exhaust has this uh, 3D Stuttgart name on it. I mean, it's pretty nice. Whoever modeled it, uh, I think it was Kate, uh, deserves um, a price. But yeah, now with the, um, wait no, with the interior, we'll see that here's the cover, well, where the roof would store. We've got a pretty nice touchscreen, which, um, ro uh, because it's Roblox, it will not work. Yeah, it says Stuttgart, parking sensors uh, for the wing. Don't know what's this, the hazard, signed on. Uh, yeah, you know, you you get it. So then the airbags, which are 3D. This is also 3D. We've got speakers with a uh, Stuttgart, well, Mercedes logo in them. That's how detailed is the car. You can see this uh, K Sadis thing from the inside. Uh, another speaker. Well, I don't know if it's a speaker, but it's there. Then we've got this little thing. I think that in real life this is for the um, heads of heads on display or however it's called. Forgot its name. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, here's the other speaker. Pre it, this is pretty detailed. Like this does not look as if it was Roblox. If you get it, yeah. Now the steering wheel. Uh, it's missing the buttons, which makes it look kind of weird. But I mean, it's pretty nice uh, steering wheel got this uh i don't know if it's a decal or if it's 3d but it's there so uh if i could just focus it it's a 3d stuttgart logo on the steering wheel. steering wheel now on the driver's side we've got the uh, door handle seat adjustments uh window switches pretty nice the speaker it says stuttgart have the Stur stuttgart logo uh yeah now in the back seat you get more speakers with stuttgart logos uh here's what this where the seat will would go and um yeah pretty nice car also one thing that it's special well i don't know if it's only for this car or for m most convertibles but it's got ambient lighting that if you press g it will change colors how nice is that like this is a real luxury car i mean just check it out it's basically a gaming pc but leaving that apart let's go for a road test first of all um, it's got launch control at 4500 rpms so here we go 3, 2, 1 and go doesn't accelerate as fast as the SL63 since this is the uh, less sportiest version but it can still go up to more than 180 miles an hour but yeah I'll go to the main road to show you guys the top speed alright so here we are at the main road uh, this is how the car looks like with the roof on. There's other versions of the roof. I don't know which stream gets which one, but there's one with a red roof. So yeah, uh, let's put the roof down. And by the way, this has traction control, ABS, and AEB, as you would expect from a modern Mercedes. And um, yeah, here's the launch control. Here's zero to sixty. Three, two, one, and go. Pretty nice, and there's 60. Now we're going for the uh, full speed run. By the way, uh, what I told you, um, the wind goes up at 55 miles an hour, and it's so detailed that it even has the wing, the um, arms of the wing, and yeah, this is the interior uh, view. It's got a pretty nice uh, sense of speed, and yeah. As you can see, it kind kind handles like a bigger vehicle, but its top speed is 183. We reached it a while ago, but I didn't notice it. But yeah, nine-speed gearbox, uh, 183 miles an hour. Here's the brakes. I'd say that this could have better brakes, 
but I mean we were going basically 200 miles an hour so let's try that again at 55 miles an hour where the wing goes up and here we go 3 to 1 go actually it has pretty good brakes I mean at high speeds they don't do as well as they do when braking at slow speeds but yeah you get the point so yeah it is a pretty nice vehicle and uh, its main competitor would be the BMW C4 but that thing can only reach 160 miles an hour on its most, most powerful version and this one is the most basic-ish because basic is only the motor while the engine which is not basic at all as you could see it almost reached 190 miles an hour but yeah and then from BM from uh, Audi there's the Audi TTRS but that's uh, that's not comparable to this like it may be faster but looks they will not make it but yeah this is a pretty nice car for cruising the wheel the wing goes up uh, you can just go into first person change the ambient lighting to something cold like not red uh, not pink not green uh, no 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 you get the point uh, you can cruise and then win the race but yeah No, it is not difficult to, to park. I mean, it's a pretty small vehicle with enough power, well, more than enough power, but still it's a, a small vehicle. Hopefully it won't. I mean, it's a brand new car, 23 model, 2023 model, and it's a Mercedes-Benz. Those things are reliable and they are German. And if it breaks down, it will be expensive, expensive so hopefully it will not break down no it is red and there is no green available so uh, in resume no not at all I mean what were you expecting a uh, roadster two-seater roadster with a B8 in it um, that would be cheap it's not a Miata guys it's a rich people's car so yeah it's not cheap to refuel. It costs eighty-four dollars. Yes, it is banned from OGVRP. Although you can pay for their premium subscription, um, El uh, Elite tier or something like that, um, and you can drive around this and its luxury version, the um, Maybach uh, version. So yeah, it is banned. It can barely jump. So there you have it guys. That's the Mercedes SL55 AMG. Um, it, might be, it might look like a convertible but it can gap a supercar. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you like the video. It would, really be, it would really help me out to reach my 500 subscriber goal to, uh, by the end of the year and it will help me to bring you better content. I'm Raul and I am out.